Sprint for juniors. If you want to go fast, you have to be taught to go fast. But more importantly, practice swimming fast. Basic speed swim skills must be perfected, understood and practiced. In teaching children to swim fast, good teacher coaches need to be communicating and reinforcing the team expectations. Don't get beat in the push off. Don't get beat underwater. This is fast. Butterfly kicks under. How many? Eight. Don't breathe on that. Break out and go. Get ready. We're going on the 15. We're going on the 15 and I want fast. If you want to go fast, you have to be taught to go fast, but more importantly, practice swimming fast. Basic speed swim skills must be perfected, understood and practiced. In teaching children to swim fast, good teacher coaches need to be communicating and reinforcing the team expectations. Have an expectation of excellence and praise the young swimmers who are doing it correctly. This will raise the expectations of all squad members. Those good kids will help to lift the standard of your squad. We want to be the best in Australia, no, the best in the world in the world. Because we lock our arms and we kick up and down. And we kick up and down. Don't breathe on our breakout. These are going to be fast. Three left. Three of these left. They've got to be fast. Two, one, hop! All the great coaches are great communicators. Your job as a coach is to set the bar high. Communicate with all the athletes, not just the best ones. Praise good work, correct mistakes, insist on perfection. Be upbeat and positive, but make sure you keep hard work fun. I'll say that again. Keep hard work fun. As the kids push off, praise the good underwater work. Count the number of kicks they do off the wall, dolphin, saying that's a great push off. That's a great push off. The guy underwater won't hear you, but the next person to push off will. And as a result, you will see them try that little bit harder to be as good as the person in front of them. Use these little tricks of the trade to bind your squad together and get them all chasing that one goal. Eight butterfly kicks on the water, then get to the other end and watch as they finish. As you see a kid finish properly, no breathing, sprinting hard to the wall, praise them. Praise them. It will reap rewards. I just saw someone. I just saw someone breathe inside the flag. I just saw someone. Yeah, we're going to do just two more for that person to breathe inside the flag. Look, don't let yourself down. Toughen up. When you're tired, toughen up. Step on the gas, up and up. We've got two left. I hate it when I see someone breathe inside the flames. It's simple things, and they're not tough. 
You want to be good, you've got to be tough. You've got to race. Here's your opportunity. Win the push off. Don't go early. Watch the clock. Two, one. Did you notice in how that little bit of a chat there, I didn't name the person who made the mistake. I just said I saw one person. Now that puts pressure back onto that child, but not only that child, but it puts pressure back on to everyone to do it properly. And now my expectation is that these next two that I'm giving them the opportunity to do not a punishment, an opportunity to do it properly, these next two should be fantastic. Think about how you can make the kids work hard. Think about how you can make your squad better. Have an expectation of excellence. So good. So good. Happy with that. We're going to backstroke now, please. No kick there. No kick. Show me how you hold your arms for backstroke kick. Show me how. Lock tight. How many butterfly kicks off the wall under the water? Eight. Thank you. How many? Eight. Right. And then it's fast. Backstroke kick. Feet under water. 